Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm actually gonna be talking about how to post effective ads on kind of any platform that you wish, whether it's OfferUp, LetGo, Listit, Five Mile, Facebook Marketplace, all these tips apply and how you um, can post them without the risk of getting banned or as people say, ghosted, so you don't get any views and you don't get traction with your ad. Before we actually get into the video, um, I did actually create that Facebook page. I linked it down below as well. Um, I'm gonna have daily tips on there. People can ask questions. I just wanted to create a community for phone flippers that have the like mindset, are willing to put in the grind. Um, I do have a questionnaire on there, just three questions, simple, just have to answer on them and then I'll approve you. Um, I, I mean, I'm always on my computer, so it should be a quick turnaround time, but basically a place for you guys to post any questions you have for me to answer anybody else. Um, I'm moderating it. Also, the Instagram's below. Follow that. So with that said, let's get into the video. So the first thing, and honestly the most important, is it's all a numbers game with when posting ads, um, obviously there's going to be other sellers in your town. If you're not, if you don't have other people doing iPhone reselling um, in your town, you're very lucky because you're going to capture that market. But that doesn't mean if there's not competition that you can't win. Um, because honestly, in my town, there's there's a bunch of people. There's not too many, um, but because of my customer service and continuous posting. I've been able to get referrals in the sense that a lot of people will just come to me naturally um, based on good customer service and um, always reaching out and as you've seen in my other videos, always um, bidding on every single phone that I get. But it's all a numbers game. With like offer up, um, you really just need to be posting kind of continuously. People need to get familiar because um, there is a statistic out there that somebody doesn't respond to like a message or a um, like an ask with for the first seven times um, that actually it is within their face. One of those things that um, people just don't, it's just a natural human behavior and that you just need to keep putting in front of them. People, um, even if they keep coming back to you for the same phone, always offer the same price because I've had people that always, um, like will always be firm and then they'll eventually come down to my price just because they're desperate to sell the phone. But just keep posting ads. But with that said, um, the one platform that I don't recommend doing that with is Facebook Marketplace because it's very um, easy to get banned on that platform. It's very fragile in the sense that they like hound um, their feed in terms of watching people like us, iPhone resellers, um, making sure that we're, we don't post ads. It's fine if we post phones to sell, but have people come to us, that's not the point in, in their eyes of the Facebook marketplace. So but any other app that you guys are using, definitely um, post at least twice a day on each. And I mean, um, and so this brings me to my second point. So this is these are gonna be more tips on actually posting them. Um, but have pictures with no text. I see a lot of people, other people that are getting into the industry, I've seen in my town, um, that will post pictures with like text on them. And the only way, um, the only platform that that should work on is Craigslist, but everything other, every other platform, it does get taken down a lot and I see it. And I've had the experience, I've tried it. Um, they get down, taken down pretty quickly. And um, But basically what I mean like that is something like this, where it's like, where it says like cash for iPhones, or it gives a phone number on there. Um, or just like any text, like saying, like sell, looking for phones, just have a picture with no text. That's the beginning thing. Um, it's harder for them to regulate because for some reason, I don't know the algorithms behind it. This is also extra important for Facebook Marketplace, but never put text on your ads. The only thing, I, the only platform I recommend for that is Craigslist. I haven't had a problem with that. Um, but have pictures with just like the phone and money or like an apple symbol and money um, i've released a couple of those pictures in my videos if you guys haven't found them just watch some of my videos um, i link i put them in there so you can kind of screenshot them and use them for yourself but the third point um it's honestly one of the most important is in the title do not put cash or buying in it and i just it's just one of those things with the algorithms with these apps i've posted enough apps and i've a and b tested them where i've seen that ones with these keywords in them will get taken down a lot faster. There, you might get lucky. Some ads just generally just get um, kind of passed through the system. They don't get taken down um, because they just miss them. I mean, there's millions of ads out there on the platform, but just as an easy tip, like just put emojis instead. So if it's cash for iPhones, I put like money bags or the money symbol, like three of them, and then four iPhones. Cause they, their algorithm will recognize if like some, they can recognize if somebody is trying to post an ad like for not an actual product, which technically we're not doing. So you just have to work around the system. Don't, don't put cash or buying in the title. Third, 
description, keep it as discreet as possible. I always just put message for quote um, in all my ads, specifically Facebook. Craigslist, again, is always an exception because it's almost kind of a free for all platform. It's not really regulated. It is if, if you're doing with like legal stuff and that, but um, just keep a message for quote. Um, that's all I say in my description. Um, that's about it for that. Um, and then the last point I have is continuously change them up. Don't let them catch up to you. You always want to be a step ahead of the game. And by them, I'm just mean the people that are regulating the ads or on these platform, whether it's offer up, let go, Facebook marketplace, you name it. Always be a step ahead of them. I'm always, I use the same ads all the time, but I won't use them consecutively. Um, like if I have cash for iPhones, the next one, if I put for the, like later at 5 p.m. and I posted that one at 8 a.m., I'll put uh, looking for cash are you looking for cash for iPhone? Something like that, but obviously not using cash. I'll be using emojis and stuff like that, but um, really just change them up. Always, like you can use the same ads as I said, but always have them different kind of within the same day. Never post the same ad in the same day. I usually have like a window where it's like three or four days where I actually post the same ad. Just kind of comfort room. I, the worst thing that you that can happen to you guys is honestly to get ghosted or banned because this is our source of our income. And um, if, you're, if you can't post any ads, it's actually gonna be hard because no phones will be coming to you and you're gonna have to put in that work of going out and finding them. And specifically if you have a nine to five job or you're just busy or a student or something, you want phone people to be coming to you. You wanna have two minutes and then phones coming to you. You don't wanna have to go out, spend an hour actually bidding on every single phone you see. Yeah, it might work out for you um, if you put in the work and um, if you're willing to, yeah, do it. And if it's already happened to you, if you've already got ghosted or banned, um, definitely, you got to put in the work. You made the mistake, but that's not that shouldn't stop you from this business. Very lucrative, easy cash. So don't let that affect you. So with that said, I hope you guys will take these five tips. Um, go use them on your next ads. Um, with that said, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to join the family. As I said in the beginning of the video, I actually have created my Facebook page. Um, it's going to be posting every single day tips and I do have my Instagram as well down there posting videos, kind of highlights of all these YouTube videos. If you're looking for one minute spurs, just the most important part of these videos. Um, so definitely click on them, join them. There's just a little questionnaire for the Facebook one, just kind of how you got there. Any questions you might have and making sure you're subscribed to the channel. Obviously you got to have the plug. So with that said, I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.